Issue 3, The Hook and Promise. So I wanted to talk about the plot, but I realized I can't do that without first explaining a bit about the promise. And if I'm going to talk about the promise, I have to talk about the hook. In layman's terms, the hook is the opening line or paragraph that has the express purpose of gaining the interest of the reader. The limit for how early on the hook can come in flexes a bit with the length of the piece. The shorter the piece, the less time you have to catch that dang reader and start reeling them in. The hook is all about presenting the audience with an unanswered question. This question can be as simple as, why is Steve yelling at Martha? Or as complex as, why is Steve grabbing a flamethrower and staring at the closet? And why is the closet growling? This is the same reason why TV shows have an opening sequence before the title. They want you to stick around, so they give you a dead body, a grumpy detective, and a bunch of scorch marks around the closet. And then they cut away to 15 minutes of commercials for butt creams. This opening question is there to keep the reader invested while you slowly set up the promise. Now the promise is also an unanswered question. However, it doesn't have to be the same one as the hook. In longer pieces, the promise might come in much later, as late as the end of the second or even third chapter. If it does, then it is common courtesy to have the promise directly related to, or at least indirectly caused by the character trying to answer the hook. Whatever it is, the promise is going to be the fuel for your character to jump into the plot. So you should make sure that you have it all stocked up and ready before you cast off. The main difference the promise has from the hook is that the promise can be quite common and overused. Things like, will they get married? Or, how will they escape? Or, who destroyed this orphanage? These questions will be presented and the reader will stick around to find out what the answer is. The promise is all about telling the audience that by the end of the book, you will give them a moment of satisfaction, presenting an elegant solution for the problems you presented in the opening act. You will lay out a change, a character who must adapt to said change, and then promise that the character will reach a certain milestone due to that change. Failing to fulfill the promise can be catastrophic. A well-written story full of deep characters with intricate foreshadowing and even some jaw-dropping twists will all be wasted. The reader will see the story as unfinished. They will despise the fact that they have been led on this whole time with no real conclusion. So don't do that. I'll talk more about the promise in the next episode, which I may stick a link to somewhere around uh, here. Anyways, thanks for listening, and good words to you all.